Hello, hello, and welcome to A Life More Boaty. We are down here to have a look at this SC47, Sea Line SC47, courtesy of James at TBS Boat Sales in the Hamble. And what I like about this is it's one of the few boats that actually depicts its real length. So this is a 47 foot boat with a 14.7 foot beam. So there's a lot and a lot of space in this boat. There's a hull wrap on here. So if you're buying this and you don't like the color of the hull, you can change the wrap quite easily. Nice, big, sociable platform down here. They've recently updated the tender chock so you can crane your tender on and off using the hydraulic passerelle you can see there. So let's have a look on board. So the first thing that you meet when you're on board is this uh, locker down here and in there is a bit of storage and also the ladder for climbing in and out the bathing platform that clips on there. A couple of fold out cleats on either side over here. Sorry about the wind, it's a bit blustery down here. And the whole of the bathing platform and the cockpit is real teak and the side decks are synthetic teak. It's another locker in here, like so. Even with that big beam, they've still managed to eke out decent side decks, so you can easily and comfortably walk up here, feet side by side. There's a nice grab rail up here. And the whole of the superstructure is, is painted black to minimize the size of it, or the visual size of it. Another midships cleat here. Big space on the fore deck for cushions or entertaining or sunbathing or whatever you fancy. Grab rails on the inboard side. Deck hatch for the fore cabin. Anchor locker down here and quite nice cleats that double as fair leads. Switches down here for the anchor, which is mounted externally, as you can see just down there. And then under here, we have the anchor chain locker, which is pretty big in all fairness. And also, little seat so you can sit there if you want to now we have a spin around and have a look at the boat you'll see absolutely vast windscreen and actually before i run ahead fender baskets so it's always nice to see somewhere to store your fenders and the visibility out from the helm station is pretty impressive because of the size of these windows you'll notice though that they run all the way forward and the reason for that is i don't know how well you can see on this video but down here is a big glass insert that drops light into the inner sort of cabin area of the boat. Similar side deck on this side, and if I lift the camera up, you can see massive sliding sunroof, which we'll have a look at inside. And then you've got a Raymarine radar up there and a Raymarine TV dome. Exactly the same side decks on this side, so really, really easy, easy boat to work. A couple of steps down, drops you back to the bathing platform where we started. And if you want to head inside, really nice and easy, we'll slide that door across. There is another locker over there, but we will head in board. So sliding that across takes you into, again, this teak-lined cockpit. What a lot of space. Really maximizing that 14.7 meter beam. Lovely gray leather upholstery right the way throughout this, this area. Starting over here on the port side with this big, big dining area. Engine access down there, so we'll have a look at that on the way out. Big folding table here, so you can fold that table across, effectively pulling that little arm out. So it fills in this entire section here. And then if I turn myself around, look at it from this angle, you can see how big that area is. And it's quite nice because this section here then becomes a lounger which rolls forward onto this double lounger up here. And those two cushions, as you, as you would imagine, can go and fill in that section over there. There's another lounger over here on the starboard side. Again, with a backrest cushion. Life raft storage under there. A zip in section, so you can take this entire canopy section out the back here if you want. And if you imagine that roof open, this is a very, very open boat if you want it to be on a day like today where it's a little bit grey and a bit blustery it's a lovely closed boat again following that sun lounger forward on the starboard side we have a tv over there which is neatly covered there's storage underneath here in these cupboards down here fridge in that one Ooh. bit of storage in there nice to see a grab rail here and then a little grill up there so you can do some cooking out here 
as you can see there's a sink there and also in here is a little chest fridge or freezer big windows running right the way through and you can see those windows now how much visibility they offer you a couple of steps forward takes us to this very capable helm station a couple of seats with pop-up bolsters now she's running um, Mercury Cummins QSB engines I think they're 480 horsepower each so logically it comes with the Cummins engine controllers and gear levers she's on pod drive so it's got the Zeus pod drive joystick as well fairly standard C-line steering wheel usual selection of switches down here some additional switches over here somewhere for an iPad controller I would imagine the Cummins engine displays the tankage voltage and fuel gauges over there nice decent size 12 inch Raymarine MFD there and a couple of rev counters over there and again if I stand at this helm station you can see how that big windscreen gives you really good visibility forward and you can now see that glass panel that we're looking at externally so let us actually before we go any further let us just show you how this roof works so here you go now the brilliant thing about a canvas roof over a GRP roof is it doesn't reflect so much noise so it's a much quieter option than a GRP roof now I'm not going to open it the whole way because it's dripping and it is slightly raining but I will just spin round and give you an idea of the size of that opening so I'm just shut it quickly because I don't want to make this lovely person's boat wet but same sort of format it closes up really efficiently and I say because it's canvas inserts and not a solid roof you don't get that harshness and vibration that you would if it was a solid GRP roof so there you go right let us go and have a look down below deck so slide this perspex door across to the right hand side here and then that gives us access to this again equally spacious due to the beam of this boat cabin area so three steps down takes us in and you'll already have noticed on the starboard side there is a big c-shaped dinette again with another fold-out table on a hydraulic leg so you can change that from dining to coffee table nice big stainless porthole there with an opener and then lots of storage across in these cabinets up here like so a little bit of recess storage under the window and a couple of recess storage pods over there you'll notice the vents here for the air conditioning which she has along with the warm air heating system you can now see if I step back over here that big window and how much light is throwing in here and over on the port side is the galley TV up here fridge in there decent size stainless sink in there Whoop, bear with me while I try and put this back in one handed rather badly there we go very solid worktop again lovely to see a three burner ceramic hob in there and then up in here we have all the controls for the pumps power the lights switches trips and the changeover from shore power to generator because she comes with a generator on this particular variant and again nice way that they've got the painted surfaces or the glass surfaces up there matted in with the black worktop and then the light wood interior so we shall head forward first as you'll notice here there's a set of three doors effectively if we go forward these two take us into the forward cabin and clever the way they've split the doors so they take up a bit less room that then gives you a bit more room down here without the door having to get in the way and then here we have a really decent center line double berth again utilizing the beam because the beam of this boat does carry a long way forward and then you have a tv up over there storage across the top here nice deep wardrobe that side there is that escape patch we looked at externally in there again nice detailing with the leather across the headboard more storage all the way across that side 
and then another really deep wardrobe in here and again you can see the air conditioning vents on either side and that little bar there is just because we're effectively in February so that's just keeping a bit of warmth on board opening port lights on both sides and if I come round here those two doors effectively become the ensuite doors for the separate shower room so this is now just a shower room so no heads just a decent ensuite shower that also has access to the rest of the boat through this door here which we'll look at on the way out and on the opposing side so over here we have the other door which takes us into the heads if I take a step in here you can see nice vanity unit little mirror porthole Jabsco vacuum flush toilet and then we can effectively go out of this door here which takes us back into the saloon area access to the galley down there the galley to the hull down there clever little bit of drawer storage in there for the bin bottle rack in there and then this takes us through to the aft cabin if i take a step back single step down drops us in here now there is a decent seriously decent double berth across here and then there is also standing headroom on this side of the bed now if i turn the camera around there is absolutely i can't touch the ceiling i'm one meter seven so there's absolutely bags of headroom there it does logically as you can see drop down a little bit down here nice sort of dressing area over that side big porthole that side again nice detailing across the head of the bed and on the opposite side here we have a really nice little chaise longs and then really cleverly concealed storage so obviously you can see the tv there behind this door here is a full-size wardrobe storage under the bed another little locker type thing in here and again nice detailing with the leather stitching on there there you go another wardrobe in there there is also a recess this side of the bed so if I turn the camera around you'll see up here again decent standing head on this side of the bed but it does cut away a little bit here because of obviously utilizing that space above and then on the way here on the way in here we have the ensuite heads so this is again a heads with a shower so there's a loo down there so it's sort of matching vanity unit there hull window and then over on the other side here we have an independent shower really nice again completely closed off there's a glass panel there or perspex panel there's a perspex door there so nice and dry so you're not getting the floor wet as you shower that takes us back out of here back into the main saloon area so that is the interior so let us go and have a peek at the engines So you're going to access quickly the engine hatches down here so undo those two tags lift that up i'm just going to put the camera down while i do that i will be back in a moment so here we go that's the engine hatch up and if we nip down in here into the engine bay down here you will see we have a couple of cummings diesel engines and these are, I think they are 5.9 litre OSB engines. As I say, they are then on pod drives. You can see the pod drive unit's right at the back here. So there you go, that's one of the pod drives. And the other one is tucked in over there. There's the raw water inlets down there. We spoke earlier about the generator. That is tucked over there at the back. That blue dome over there is the hot water system. And then right the way down here we have a bit of storage space for bits and pieces 
Now these engines should give you around about 32 knots as a maximum speed and with a cruise, a comfortable cruise in the 25 mark. Again, you could cruise a little bit less if you wanted to. So there we go. Quite a spacious engine bay actually. And then just while we're down here, down here you've got your fuel water separators and above us up here we have the fire suppression system. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed that tour. Do please like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time round. And thank you very much to James at TBS Boat Sales and obviously the owner for letting us have a look around their lovely Sea Line SC47. I shall see you next time round. Thanks for watching.